Because I say, I, I use the word it's essential services, right? And it's you could argue life and death. Of course you can. And emergency services use, you know, rely on a lot of internet as well. So there is that argument. But just for convenience, I mean, you know, I, I couldn't use my, because the echoes went down, the smart yeah. speakers went down for a while. So I couldn't use my heating. I couldn't use my, you know, doorbells, my security cameras. And you realize that maybe it's not life or death, but it's convenience that is almost essential. It's well, it's, it's convenience feeling. and it can be essential, right? So, okay, on one hand, I missed a delivery yesterday. Didn't know why. It was yeah, I was saying yeah. to you, or someone's, someone said they had been at the door, but they haven't. Well, they obviously yeah. had, but the system was down. Because when yeah. I'd gone later into the app, it turned out the cameras weren't even available to me to even view. Now, mm -hmm. that I would say is inconvenience. But then you think about heating. And as we're moving into winter... And you think, okay, so now we're in a situation where this all goes down. How do you turn your heating on? If you cannot find a way to easily turn on your heating because everything's controlled by an app, you've got a problem. And it's another reason why, you know, all this smart home devices being controlled through, a, you know, a third party server. Again, it's not a great model. We want to be able to control it directly with, you know, if you've got an app on your phone, why do you need an internet connection to turn your heating on or check your cameras? 